Tu serais prêt à quoi pour te faire connaître Faire partie de l'élite. C'est qui elle Une parisienne. Elle vient de rentrer à Hugo cette année. So apparently this is not, you know, in English. It sounds somewhat French. Je vais refaire mon challenge personnel. Je vais lui retourner le cerveau à des points que ce sera elle qui me suppliera de coucher avec moi. Je vais jouer. Un, tu couches, deux, tu jettes. You know what, let me um, go back and read it out. Read out the subtitles, you know, so um, if you are not able to see the subtitles, you can understand what is happening in the trailer. Tu serais prêt à quoi pour te... How far would you go to be part of the elite? Faire connaître, faire partie de l'élite. Who is she, you know, she's Qui elle? down Bye. the whole way. A partisan, she, she's attending Hugo Bien. this year. Elle vient de rentrer Hugo cette Okay, so this is, you know, it works stuff, you know, she's the only dark-skinned person in this entire um, class of, I'm guessing, school, you know, which is interesting, you know, for uh, only one dark-skinned person, you know, the only person of African descent, you know, in the entire school, or at least this class, you know, so far. So it is apparently like a private school, you know, uh, an elite private school. So that is what they are, the idea they are trying to push. My personal change. Observe the propaganda in this, you know, and what they are doing with movies. There are so many different stories to tell, but because they want to push this agenda, you know, of um, discrimination and um, dark skinned people are oppressed, and you know, the white man is the oppressor, and all of that. So, all the stories that they push and they measure on have this um, kind of theme that goes with it, you know. And interestingly, Netflix, with a lot of basically everything that is on Netflix, you know, that is new, you know, in other words, was made um, after Netflix was founded as a company, you know, apart from movies that was that Netflix bought that were, were have always existed, a lot of these new movies, you know, it is like in the deal Netflix in, includes its um, influence over the scripts and they have to put woke stuff inside, you know, and, and it, it, it is often funny and it is overdone and it is expected. You will see some crazy leftist woke nonsense you know in every movie or series from netflix even in storylines that it does not make sense to uh, to attach that kind of thing inside you have her begging to sleep with me okay and have her begging to sleep with me i want to play sleep with her then dump her so this is the Boy's perspective, you know, he just wants to use her. Un, tu couches, deux, tu I want to play, and apparently he's telling the white girl, you know, his attention towards the dark skinned girl. Je peux te faire visite, tu vois. I can show you around uh, with someone. J'ai quelqu'un et je suis très fidèle là-haut. Là. C'est up there. C'est l'aristocratie bas. Bas square autocracy certify. Certifiably inseparable. Ah, certifié inséparable. Attends, ils sont ensemble. Wait, they are together. Yeah. Oh wow, let's talk. Tout en haut de la pyramide. At the top of the pyramid, King Barua and Queen Mary. King Badiola et Queen Merteuil. Les influenceurs comme. Influencers like Naya and Ariel. Naya et Ariel. Of apparently there's another African American in the school and they, they made that you know they cast it a fat person you know the the cast <laughs> well uh, uh, la case, du roi et de la reine. then you have court dresses and at the bottom you have the peasants. Ah, paysans so are they now understand that this is propaganda against private schools you know who um this is something you have to be wise and, and smart about. So what are they doing? Understand that these guys are in effect pushing for the ideologies that will make people hate a certain group, like a certain group, like certain content, be against certain content, think certain things are wrong. 
you know and of course there's a push for public schools that's why in, interestingly you know the democrats are against school choice and you know um things that would basically open up education you know in the sense of where education comes from you know that would create a situation where the school board will not be able to completely control all the um educational and learning systems in the country Sinon on a le droit d'être pote sur Insta ou ça va se We be friends on Instagram or with that anger your boy. Mec. On dit demain 14h tomorrow on the beach not sur la grande plage. Même pas en rêve. <rire> Pierrement on se marie. We are getting married next year. Dans un an. <rire> Mais pourquoi Tu crois pas en l'amour absolu toi You don't believe in love. I've never thought about it. Je me suis pas posé. She looks rather young, you know. Interesting to wonder the age, you know, to be thinking of marriage, even in the context of this um, story. La question. Quoi? C'est juste que tu me surprends et peu de gens me surprennent. And a few people surprise. Ça reste entre nous. Be careful with. Mais méfie-toi, Tristan. Cher Madame. De... Dear Madame de Riva. Je fais un truc en petit comité à la maison le 31. T'es déguisant Quoi là En plus de même Oh God J'arrive pas à... Are you a nice guy who hangs with you Of course, they had to put something that would disrespect Christianity or, you know, take jabs at Christ. Why can't she be a, a slutty imam You know, why can't she do something else? But it, of course, it's slotting on, you know, making fun of something, you know, that is associated with Christianity. That um, push, of course, you know, it, it comes as no surprise to me. And that's why I keep emphasizing this sense because we as Christians, we must be conscious of what the world is doing and actually be proactive. You know, if um, someone was to make a movie and do something like this, you know, about gays, you will see the gays protesting left and right, you know, wanting to know the company, you know, standing in front of the company, I'm saying um, it's a microaggression or it is abuse and all those kind of things. But it's okay to do Jesus Christ. It's okay to insult Jesus Christ, but not to insult anything else. Are you a nice guy who hangs out with you? Are you a nice guy who hangs out with you? Are you a nice guy who hangs out with you? Are you a nice guy who hangs out with you? Your feelings for Henry de Goss are Pour Henri de Guy sont trop éclatants, madame. Vous ne me trahirez pas You won't be. Sérieux, Céline Trust me, Céline, you have feelings for Tu ressens un truc pour ce mec Alors, pour vous, promiscuity, you know, being promoted. The generation, when you look at um, the. Even the free love movement of the 60s and, you know, every uh, major movement that has brought degradation to society, it had been pushed by the media. You know, the free love movement of the 60s, you know, basically thanks to rock and roll and, you know, crack cocaine, you know, but the, the media was a big part in it, you know. And that is what um, is a big part in changing culture. When you change and you control what people hear, you know, what people see, what a lot of people see you can manipulate them and you know the radio and the tv you know in the in the 60s were powerful tools for that you know and now we have the internet so with the social media companies you know with the big companies you know and their way of thinking they can cause a lot of damage now there are a lot of people who are happy that elon musk is buying twitter you know, there are a lot of conservatives who are happy. But you have to understand something about Elon Musk buying Twitter. Elon Musk is still a leftist. Elon Musk is still somebody that, in spite of everything that has happened, you know, there is somebody that is supposed to be smart, yet he has chosen to be anti-Trump. He has chosen to still be on the left. You know, so it says a lot. This is a guy that, you know, thinks that um, Putin is a villain in this situation between him and Ukraine. He cannot see, you know, all that Biden did. He cannot see that if Trump was in office, this would have never happened. He cannot see NATO's part. He cannot see that NATO was expanding, you know, towards Russia against their agreements. 
He cannot see that um, Ukraine was not neutral. He cannot see that Ukraine, you know, was harboring missiles by the U.S. You cannot have that. It doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't Russia make moves against Ukraine? It has to. It would be idiotic. It's just like if Russia puts um, missiles in Puerto Rico, you know, what do you think the U.S. government will do? Will the U.S. government say, um, okay, that is cool? You know, it, Puerto Rico is basically part of the U.S. You know, it, 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 it's just there. So imagine if um, the, the, go the U.S., um, whoever is the president, you know, let's say that whether, it, whether it's Biden that is there or, or not, doesn't matter. Let's say um, Russia puts missiles in Puerto Rico, that it's creating a missile base and, you know, all kinds of labs, you know, there. And the U.S., you know, whoever is president says, you know, Puerto Rico, we cannot have that. Get that out. And Puerto Rico says no. What do you think is going to happen? You know, of course, Puerto Rico is part of the U.S., but, you know, let us say Mexico. Let's say that it was Mexico. America will invade Mexico. You know, that is a fact. And be like, you know, you, you cannot have this. Because th th that is just very close proximity. Understand that with the missile that the U.S. was keeping in Ukraine, anything that, any missile that Russia was shooting, America could shoot it down from Ukraine. And America could shoot easily because it was next door into Russia. And, you know, that is also an avenue to invade Russia. So, f for many reasons, it is stupid. And that was... um. President Putin's um, contention, and that is the terms that he put down. But you know, Zelensky, who is evil, is there saying all kinds of things. Oh, negotiating on them. Oh, we are negotiating. No, Putin has already told you what you know he's angry about, and you know um, what he wants done. You know, th this has to stop. But yet, Zelensky is making all kinds of moves to strengthen to make Russia go even harder by joining NATO. You put. Um, Russia in a position where he has no choice but to take all of Ukraine, you know, and Zelensky is, was pushing for that, and Biden and other people encouraging him to do that. You know, when you do that, he has no choice; he will be stupid, especially since that it has already cost him so much, and um, all the situations, you know, um, ha has been like this. He has to take this pause of war right now. You know, it has basically gone beyond the point of negotiation, thanks to Zelensky. Biden, the European Union, you know, and the EU, they are getting rich, by the way. Biden is getting an unlimited amount of money thanks to all the money of the US taxes, you know, that is being shipped over to um, Ukraine. That is not going to feed people in Ukraine. That is not what that money is going to. That money is, is feeding, you know, because weapons are being bought and all of that. And basically, America is following the one, making it go long on longer than it's, it, it's necessary. So, and in the process, Biden and all the people who are invested in the military industrial complex, you know, those who have bought stocks or own shares in companies that, you know, um, are in charge of all those uh, weaponry, you know, they are enjoying... A truckload of resources because they are the ones who that money is going to you know and of course Zelensky is you know um, getting past billionaire status right now you know he, he's really becoming he will soon be a multi-billionaire so this war he's really while his people are suffering and he's displacing his people as refugees he is getting unbelievably wealthy and looking like a hero because they control the media, because the EU controls majority of the mainstream media. So they are pushing that rhetoric. But he is the one that he, that's, you know, has done this. All you have, all he had to do is be reasonable. Look, okay, um, NATO stop expanding towards Russia, and you know, um, we won't join NATO. And the US has to get out all his missiles and you know labs. This is the same way, the lab that the coronavirus came from in Wuhan, that was a U.S. lab, that was funded by U.S. dollars, by, by you know, Fauci and group, and a lot of it was, even government money was involved, the U.S. government money was used, you know, in funding that lab, that, that was the U.S. The U.S. has labs in different parts of the world and weapons in different parts of the world that, that should disturb people. Only the U.S. can do all kinds, commit all kinds of criminal acts around the world and get away with it. 
Why? Because they own the media in a lot of countries. They own the and and because of their their place in in, in um, situations like the EU and you know the World Economic Forum, and they are the ones who are you know the deep states, you know which basically owns America that has America in its pockets are the ones that are orchestrating these things and have put together a lot of the structure in which the world functions the scam so they are enjoying um much a lot of riches understand that from this tragedy and so on that is why it's important for christians you know we must take over the media the sense has to take over the media you know we have to do that. We must take over the schools, we must take over culture, we, we must strategize and go forth. Nowadays, power is fame. I'm reading the subtitles now. No glory. You see, this, this, this promiscuous nature was promoted by the media. If we, as Christians, got control of the media, there won't be all this promiscuous nonsense and all these um, teenage pregnancies and women seeking abortion, you know, crazy. You know, and all these women that don't use protection. There are so many things, you know, so many issues that will be solved when the saints are in charge. Nikki, on aime. That being said, you know, if you are watching this, make sure you check out Alfredo's VIP, you know, perhaps you want to start your video game studio, um, movie studio, t um, music company, whatever, you know, um, and do it for Christ, you know, and just take the first step. God is with you, you know, don't worry and bother about the money and say, oh, I have to have this amount of money if I start, you know, just take the first step. When you take the first step, you can take the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth, you know, and another and another and another, and you will find yourself doing, you know, amazing things, you know, for the gospel and with the gospel you know now note if you're a pastor you know your drawing department that is your movie studio you know your choir that's your music company you know get started get it done thank you and god bless you if you haven't given your life to christ i would like you to say this prayer after me and don't pray in your mind don't repeat these words in your mind Make sure they come out of your mouth. You don't have to shout, but you have to be able to hear yourself. And make sure you mean every word of it with your heart. Now repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Your word says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved according to acts 221 so now i call upon the name of jesus and i ask that you save me i ask jesus to come into my heart to be the lord of my life i believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that jesus christ is the son of god I believe he came, died, and rose from the dead to set me free from sin and to reconcile me with you. Your word says that you would freely give the Holy Spirit to all those who ask, according to Luke eleven thirteen. Therefore I ask, that you give me your Holy Spirit to live in me and as I've asked I've also received by faith I thank you Father for your precious gifts I thank you for I have received eternal life I thank you because I am now saved I am now born again I am now one of your kids in Jesus name amen if you just pray that prayer congratulations welcome to the family of God you are now a believer in Christ Jesus now I would like you to go to alfred.vip click the salvation prayer link in the main menu at the bottom of the page you will see some links to some resources that will help you now that you are born again 
there are things you need to know about Christianity. There are things that you need to learn. You know, resources that will help you as you begin your work with God. Thank you and God bless you.